So, a uh, new patient, uh, Joseph's girlfriend, and she was watching us all week and uh, watching him get better, and she goes, I'm gonna do this. So you're here, gotcha. So, uh, why don't you tell us your first name, age, and what you do? Uh, my name is Yantique, I am 30 years old, and I do dessert catering. And so, uh, she's been suffering with pain for about 10 years. Yeah. And so, it all started when she used to work at the AT&T store with her, her peeps. <laughs> hey, AT&T, what's going on, guys? Standing up all day, it's high energy. You know, we're in sales, so it's it's a high stress environment. Gotcha. Pain started up at my shoulders and G shoulders I'm areas. Throwing here. out iPad stuff, probably. Yeah, looking down, looking down. You're constantly on the computer, looking down on iPads. We uh, delved into what really is something that really emotionally is bothering her: uh, facial hair. She's yeah. having an issue there, and so uh, hair is growing where it should be growing at a very young age. And she found out she has what with her ovaries polycystic ovarian syndrome. Yes, and so that uh, throws off the estrogen levels in her body, so her estrogen levels are off, and so she worries about it, and so she doesn't like it, and she goes, can chiropractic help that? I go, oh, you know, it's something new. I haven't seen that symptom, but again, when you balance the body, hormones will actually get balanced, and we see that a lot of times get better. So what else you got going on? Low back pain for a number of years, right? Low back pain, I, I yeah. And then uh, knees and ankles man. are what blow my mind. She I got it. these old lady knees, man. <laughs> and you're only 30. <laughs> and I'm only 30. Yeah, and yeah, they just yeah, crinkle yeah. like. <laughs> to be completely transparent, guess how much weight she's lost. She's lost a ton of weight. How much? Like 65 to 80 pounds. Good. And so you guys may say, oh, it's the knees are bad because she was so fat when she was younger. If I can remove her pain in a single adjustment, then it isn't her fat. It's her body position. It's, so you're gonna see that on camera. I'm gonna show you that on camera. Hand, right hand feels what? Uh, the finger, the right finger especially. My index finger feels like it's broken, but I know it's not gotcha. broken. So now let's get down to the nitty gritty. How is these symptoms, how is the facial hair thing, how does that change your life? How, what does that make you feel like? How about Very self-conscious. I have to shave literally every other day. And wow, if I crazy. don't, it's, it's there and it's nothing that you, you're not gonna not notice. You're gonna see me like, damn, she's got a hairy face. Yeah. yeah, and so how does that make you feel? It must feel terrible to have to, to feel like you can't be just like a regular woman that doesn't yeah, have hair, Yeah, you know, right? I just wanna wake up beautiful every day because exactly, I already exactly. am. So. I'd be interested to find out how many of you guys have that out there because I didn't even know this existed. I mean, I didn't really exist that that big deal, so that's interesting to me. So please leave those comments in the comment section. How has the neck pain changed your life too? Cause she um, works catering, by the way. Yeah, it just, and in catering, she makes cupcakes and stuff. It, and, and I make banana pudding. Banana pudding, and so yeah, her neck hurts when she's cooking. And so, yeah. tell us about that. It just takes the fun out of the job, honestly. It, it yeah. really does. It makes it more of a task than something that I actually really want to do. So I love this. So we're gonna bring fun back. Let's push your head over time here. Yeah. And where do you feel that? Uh, right through there. Gotcha. I'm gonna lift your leg. Tell me if you have any back pain. Okay. Uh, just hamstring. hamstrings. Gotcha. Yeah. Knee. That at all? Oh, hips. Gotcha. Wow, look at you. How about that? Hips. Okay. Yes. Uh, hamstrings. Oh. Uh. Wow. You got a lot of tension in this body. Turn over. Yeah. Piece, I'm gonna push you back. So much you feel. Mm -hmm. Which one's worse, right or left? Uh, uh, right. Right a little bit more. Yeah. Now how about here? Pain here at all too? Yep. Gotcha. Oh. More here in the middle, right? Yes. How about this? Not, not much? Not so much. How about up here? Not so much. Up here? Yes. More here? Oh. Or is it more down here? Both. Okay. Now which side is worse? This side? Oh. Or this side? Left. So this oh. or this? Which oh. one's worse? They both suck. Okay. Go ahead and sit up please. Go ahead and lean back please. How much pain there? Oh. You go back. About a six. About a six. Good. And then uh, go ahead and step forward a little bit. And then go ahead and look at the ground, please. How much pain in your neck there? About a four. And look at the ceiling, please. How about that? That's like a six. Gotcha. And look forward. And she's saying, a minute ago, she said that uh, she had acupuncture. She goes, my neck could be much worse than that usually. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. And then let's uh, talk about her knees. So spread your feet a tiny bit. And she says her knees are all jacked up. So go ahead and squat. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, now get your ass down. More and more and more. How much pain is there in the knees? Woo! What is Man, it? that's an eight. That's an eight. Go and stand up. You feel it just in your knees or you feel it in your back also? I feel it in my knees, in my hamstrings, in my glutes. So and everything's tight. Everything. Gotcha. So now we're going to check our ankles. Go ahead and stand up on your ankles or stand up on your toes. 
How much pain in your ankles? Uh, that's about a three. About a three? Four. And look at her balance. She has trouble with balance. So uh, we're going to work on your first adjustment in a few minutes. Uh, why don't you just give us, you said you were nervous in the car. Why don't you give us I'm some scared, of man. I'm not even going to lie. Took a look at her x-rays. Uh, lots of scoliosis. She has a bad one in her neck, which uh, I was saying that could be thyroid related. Maybe that's mm -hmm. why facial hair. She says her father has thyroid problems too. Um, definitely genetic with the uh, scoliosis. Uh, Atlas is really worn off. It's like almost a notch effect which means a lot of pressure in there, which you guys know that when you have pressure on the atlas, it puts more pressure on the brainstem. Again, reverse curve, um, but the interesting thing is the scoliosis in her neck. Uh, she has some TMJ issues too, but the neck is 15 degrees or 16 degrees off in just a few visits, a few visits, a few um, vertebra. So um, that's gonna be the focus here today. So go ahead and bend over, touch those brush again. Any pain in your back there at all? Um, hamstrings. Hamstrings? Anything uh, in the back at all? Low back. A uh, scale yeah, of 10, how tight. much? Uh, uh, tension, right? Tension about or a, It's more tension okay, than what anything. Is it? Uh, say about a five six. Five six. Hands like this. Lean back. Yeah, definitely pain in the low back. How much? Six. Six. Gotcha. Look at the floor with your neck, please. How about that? Pain. How much? About a seven. Seven. Look at the ceiling. Uh, about a four. About a four. Yeah. Look straight ahead. Now spread your feet a tad. Any pain in your knees, ankles? Hell yeah, it's pain in my knees. Well, just, uh, get, just tell us what it is. How much pain in your knees? <laughs> it's like a, it's a good like seven, eight. Now stand up on your toes for five seconds. How much pain in your ankles, your feet? Anything? Uh, no. Not really? No. no. Gotcha. Right finger, um, it just feels Go like it's broken. It. Go ahead and bend it. Any pain with that? No. Okay, pat, bend all the way. Anything there? Yeah, pain. That one hurts. scale one set, how much is that? That's like a... <laughs> That's like a six or seven. Okay. I bend it. That's a six or seven, right there? Yeah, gotcha. right there. Okay. Well, she's pretty relaxed with somebody so nervous. Man, I'm just sitting I here, I'm just like, it's time. Fuck. You're doing good. <sighs> you're doing good. No, but you're actually relaxed. Yeah. I like it. Okay. Yeah, no, I thought you'd be a lot more tight. That's what she said. I didn't want to say that. <laughs> Make me laugh, <laughs> please. I see that breathing, heavy breathing. Oh. Was it as bad as you thought it was gonna yeah, be? Yeah. It was? <laughs> yeah. You watched it all week. I know. And yeah, that's why it's worse. You know, uh, dogs and cats, when they're in fights, what do they always grab? They always grab the neck. The neck, right? Because mm -hmm. inherently, all us animals know that the kill zone is the neck. Mm -hmm. And so to let another human being mess with that is difficult psychologically at first. <laughs> yeah. And the thing you're doing really well is you're just letting me <gasps> do my work. It's only, I only really feel pain. Like if I'm just sitting down, gotcha. I don't really feel any pain. But if I'm walking or... We're gonna find out in a second? Yeah, yeah. that's where I really feel Good. the pain. Okay, so remember straight ahead, arms down. Um, it feels way like easier to relax. Yeah. Like, it's just, I feel like all the tension is like my shoulders. Just a lot of relaxation. I don't feel so much tension in my neck. Like just sitting, I was having the same thing kind of like Zach with the burning in the, the right side of my neck and shoulder, but now it's just. Let's go through this range of motions. Bend over, okay. touch toes. <laughs> Whoa, mm -hmm. that, that, that mm -hmm. was easy. But it's still a little tight. Yeah, but how about back here? That was a, man, that was a no, six that was, right? man, that's easy work. Stand up. Now, so you told about your hips being tight. See yeah. how back, how loose your back is right now. Wait till you go backwards. You're gonna feel how loose your hips are back now. Oh, that was yeah. a six minute ago. So you feel these? Yeah. How much loose they are? This is. I go know, ahead and look I at the know. floor. Go look at the floor. <laughs> oh yeah, no pain, no pain, no pain. Okay, now this is the one that's gonna blow your mind because your knees, old lady, <laughs> man, old lady, man, my knees crackle like. Mama oh, jamma. they're so embarrassing. Squat. They're so embarrassing. Squat. Hey. <laughs> I felt like a really old person going down, and that was an eight. It wasn't just seven or eight. Man, eight. that was like a drop it low touch. Drop, drop it low, sleep the flow with it. Yeah. How much do you need pain? How much do you need pain? Man, like zero. And how many years have you been suffering with that knee pain? God, since AT&T, 10 see years, this, 10 years. You see the knees? But there's no sound. Yeah, that car, you know. I'm the car just, is hard for you. Yeah, the car is hard. Driving. But isn't it funny? I already went over the, with the car with Joseph and now you- I raised that seat up. You tried I'm all like, that stuff? Man, it's just difficult, I, right? It's just really trying to like, 
I, it's it's my neck. And you right have now. and you have a week of information between these ears, and you're still and hard I'm, to. I'm all really together. trying to adjust and it. And you have I'm first hand information. It's hard. Moving, breathing. First hand information. It's not easy, guys. Yeah, it's not easy. Again, I, I get a kick out of it because you guys all want to go. Can you just tell us a secret? Can you just tell there us? There is no secret other than consistency and being mindful. Being mindful. So, uh, how did you feel? Did you feel pretty good? What was oh, the yeah, pain? No, I definitely felt really good. I so felt the car no was the worst. The car is the worst. And then um, going up the stairs. Like, no, like? I did not. No. Going upstairs once we got home, I started to experience a little bit of pain in my knees again, and then the crackling started back. But it wasn't. It's not as loud as it was, and it wasn't as painful. So let's just kind of see. I wanted to see how you squat real quick because I'm kind of curious how far it went backwards. Okay. Oh shit! Sure, sure, you're still pretty good. Yeah. No, we're still good. It's just uh, the leg like, crackling. It's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad at all. So was that a one or something? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, nothing So bad. still a lot better. So mm -hmm. she's complaining just to squawk, you know, how women are. I mean, I mean uh, sorry, did I say that? He wants all changes, guys. All changes. All changes. No, I'm fine. She knows what I'm asking for, so uh, I can't wait to see your notes tomorrow morning. Can you feel this tension right here? Mm-hmm. That's exactly where the pain is. These are subocipital muscles. This is the muscles that I'm adjusting. Um, Joseph, his atlas. Mm. And so... This is what has to change to overcome all this pain long term. Mm -hmm. And so this is why I'm always asking people to relax and, and relax your shoulders because that's the that's the beginning of relaxing this whole thing. Yeah. Good. I felt myself tensing up a yeah, little bit. Yeah, you felt bit. a little bit, right? Yeah. Well, I took you a little different uh, direction too. Uh. <sighs> wow. Woza. And the right side, you defob me a little bit. Yeah. Now, the big thing you want to see from this or feel from this adjustment is feel my fingers where they were a minute ago. Yeah, they were so tight. And yeah, and how's it feel? Much, much looser. Exactly. And so we just adjusted this morning and we were able to reduce that and that's how fast yeah. your body can go backwards in time. When you're walking, just close your eyes periodically too when you're just resetting. Okay. And just feel. It's about feeling. It's not about what you know. It's about just really just allowing your body to get back to natural state. Good orientation, yeah. But we all are influenced by what's around us and that's the problem. <gasps> Whoa! Give me a second. Whoa! That was a big one, huh? I, I felt like I got loose as a goose on that one right before you popped it. Good. See, mm -hmm. you're thinking about me, so you're not, now not you're even like, worried about myself. Not even man. worried about yourself, so the adjustments are going nice and deep. Tell us about your breakthrough. It's all about the feels. The it's feels. all about the feels and really listening to your body mm -hmm. and really mentally doing kind of like when they when they're really trying to stress the mind muscle. Uh, connection, you know, like you can't really work that muscle if you're not really connecting with that muscle and you can't really make the pain go away unless you're really connecting with the pain. You gotta really, you gotta really You gotta embrace the pain yeah. to make it go away. Even this feels way, huh? way easier. Huh? Yeah. So now yeah. you're starting to see it all come together, right? Yeah. The work you do helps me or hurts me. Hurts my work, right? Mm -hmm. And so now that you've been doing the work that makes you feel better, guess what? This, it makes the adjustments easier too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Still scared though. Yeah. Okay, girl. Yeah. See, it's it's way, way easier, easier yeah. on that left side. There must be some kind of like, does this hurt more? Yeah. Or does this hurt more this way? No, this way does. Yeah. Yeah, and that's all right here. Mm -hmm. This. And so when I feel your neck right here. You can feel how the right side is tired than the left side. Mm -hmm. Still, even though it feels better. Hey guys, we're back again with another episode of <laughs> Getting It Cracking with Dr. Thayer. Okay, so go ahead and stand up real quick. Show them your elbow. All Just right. go ahead and bend it. So she has a little pain right there. That's as much as she can bend it today. Yeah. So I'm going to show her. I'm going to see. Go ahead and bend the other ones because people don't know that you're crippled. Good. <laughs> Perfect. Sit. So I was trying to show her and uh, where the pain comes from, and she doesn't like this when I do this, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So anyways, we already did this, and we crippled her. Any pain up in your head, down your arms, anything like that? Oh, my shoulders Shoulder. and at the base of my neck. Gotcha. Ugh. So this is a perfect example, guys, when I do this. This is called referral pain. This referral pain is developed because she's had these poor posture positions for so long, oh. she has developed this uh, muscle memory. 
and so it's actually shooting up into her head. So when she contracts her shoulders and she does the wrong thing, she creates her own pain. So the way you feel right now is what the feeling you want to chase, that relaxed feeling. Yeah. Good. So I'm going to adjust you in the chair. And so this is her first time because she was a bad girl, didn't show up on Friday. Okay, let this go. Ugh. Good. Ugh. That was a little harder for me to relax. Was it? Sometimes yeah. you want to come in the chair. I think it was just because it was new. Ugh. Good, nice. Ugh. It's very powerful because not, we're not just working on phones, which we are, that's the, that's the idea, but we're working on the neurology. All yeah. these electrical signals that come from our brain are going down a pipeline called the spinal cord, right? And when you adjust it, you're actually just smacking that electrical system around, which can be really traumatic to the brain a little Man. bit. Man. It hurts about the same, but I feel like it can go up a okay, bit for, First, we're going to walk the... Okay, so how does this feel since the last time you came here? That's, uh, it's been four or five days. Yeah. I feel like I racked up a lot of tension in these last couple of days, so just being able to come here and get this adjustment, I really feel like I was able to really reset. Yeah. So uh, again, there's always, people are always going, you know, once you, get, you have to get cracked all the time, there's no longevity with chiropractic, you know, uh, and people out there go, it only feels good for a couple hours, but she's here to tell you that after just only three days of being treated, she still has consistent sleep derived from good adjusting. I mean, the elbow feels a lot better being relaxed like this mm -hmm. now. Less tension, right? Um, yeah, less tension. Like, it doesn't necessarily feel like it's going to snap trying to uh, bring it back yeah, yeah, up yeah. like this. So I'm going to work on it some more, but right now we're going to kind of let it set and see how she does because um, I think there's still some spasm there, but the adjustment allowed her body to now start healing this better. Right, we're gonna check her elbow. How much better does it feel, by the way, right now? It feels, it feels, feels better. a lot better. And I just kind of uh, bend it for me real quick. Now, if you look at this morning, how fast she's doing this, her fast twitch is really quick, mm -hmm. is really engaging right now, which is exactly right. But there's probably still a little issue there because of the um, the type of injury she suffered the other day. <laughs> so we're gonna push on here now. You gotta see her face. Look at her face now. See her, look at her face? That's just one thumb. So <laughs> Breathe in your nose. Out your mouth, breathe in. Yeah. Good, good. There is an adjustment I can do here, but I'm not going to do it yet. No, no, I think, God, uh, no, please. Yeah. But I'm going to wait for the adjustment because I want her to heal for a couple days. But go ahead and uh, lift your arm again. Let's take a look. I feel a little different, right? It feels a lot easier to do this. Yeah, you know, I, I was over here. You look, you look so much better. Like your body looks like perfectly symmetrical now. Yeah. And uh, it looks great. Yeah. Remember I, that first day I told you your back was all rounded? I was like, Yeah, you're just like, I don't even know where this hump is exactly. coming from. But today it looked like it looks set today. <gasps> Good. Yeah, that was, we got a real cracking with that one. Wow. <sighs> so that pre pop, you felt, or you heard yeah. there? Yeah. That's all um, self adjusting. And so that self-adjusting causes that laxity in the joints, so all I have to do is just move it a little bit and it was cracking. Okay, so uh, Tuesday morning, I just want to get the information you said about going home. The posture stuff, we worked on progressions and you're doing, you're feeling better. Mm -hmm. You stopped, the walk is good, mm -hmm. still the car is an issue. But I really want to know about the kitchen stuff, the stuff at home. What did you talk about that? So, just learning how to reorient yourself around your everyday life. You know, we, we go through this program and we're just solely focusing on eight pans, walking, just getting that down packed and solidifying that. And then once you realize, okay, this is how I stop pain, you then get to translate that through every part of your existence, via driving, we were talking about doing dishes, folding laundry, just yeah. housework, just so everyday this, life. So awesome. So uh, what did you do to try to make that happen? Literally just stop going to eight pans figure out, okay, this is what feels good. What then can I do in this position to make myself Couldn't have said it better feel. myself. That's exactly what I want people to do. So you find the aha moment, and once you have it, then you can translate it to all the other stuff you have. Mm -hmm. And so uh, she couldn't have said it better. I want to get that on camera. Okay, so first Alice adjustment today. Fuck, we're doing that. Oh. Okay. <gasps> Whoa. How was that different? Oh my god, <laughs> it's so intense at the base of my neck. This is why I don't do it the first day. No, you can't. Yeah, because people have reactions like that, and I don't know how they're going to react, so... I uh, wouldn't have came back. Exactly. <laughs> good, nice. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Welcome to another episode of What's Crackin' with Dr. Thayer. Yeah. 
You know, you didn't bring your cupcakes for me, by the way. No, we're doing that Friday. Oh, Friday? Mm -hmm. And so tell us about your uh, Instagram Ooh. or something. Is that what you yes, doing? Instagram. So, hey pudding underscore LA. She cooks and stuff. Yes, and I do catering. banana pudding variations. Yes. yes, I do a build your own banana pudding bar for your party. Anyway, she's going to bring some stuff on Friday. So I am. Check it out. What have you learned about yourself? How about that? I learned that I'm still not doing it right as much as what I would like to What do you think like you're missing right now? I'm just really relaxing into the position, keeping my chest down, and just really sticking to the posture as much as possible. So what did we notice in the car? We noticed in the car that... The bouffant. This hair is causing a lot of distress in my life. So when she sits in the car, she actually sits away from the seat. Why? Mm -hmm. Because she doesn't want her hair messed with or whatever. Yeah, right. And I can't because this is just way too dense and thick. And way too dense and thick, exactly. Yes, I'm like this. And so the funny thing was, is I kept telling her before I even knew this, I told her, I go, the problem with you is you always sit with your bed forward like this. <laughs> and she go, I go, why do you do that? And she didn't know until I saw the picture. And then I go, oh, yeah. Aha moment for her and for me to find out where her, a lot of her problems come from. It's the hair. It's the hair. So I told her to cut it. I go, she looked good bald, but she said, absolutely not, Dr. Fair. And so that's uh, not even what I said. I said something way more just yeah, yeah. So we're gonna talk about how to put. We talk about how to position her hair when she sleeps. Mm -hmm. We also talked about how to adjust the car so it's not quite as affecting her. Yeah. Good. Perfect. <clears throat> Man. Oh. That atlas adjustment is crazy. <clears throat> Good. You guys should slow that down to slow-mo. Maybe I'll slow it down for you guys. Because her whole head went, <laughs> you, you, could, you could see it actually in my hand. I was like, anyways, that's us for Wednesday. We'll see you guys on Friday. So we're doing our first YouTube video with uh, Gan Puddin, right? No, don't listen to him. It's Hey Puddin. Hey Puddin. Custom Puddin. Gone Puddin. and desserts. <laughs> exactly. So <laughs> she brought us some samples. So we're going to try that today. And she's going to show us on camera. And we're yeah. all going to like, pretend we like it. No, we're going we're gonna to like it. I'm mm. sure we're going to like it. She's really good. <laughs> and so uh, let's go ahead. Let's see what you got. Yeah, all right. Do so for Mr. Raul here is oh. our BLC with a bit of a twist. We added some pistachios. And that is going to be blueberries, key lime, with a cheesecake whip on top. Wow. Is this made Thank to order? Yes. yes. Wow. I make them all made to order. I have about 15 different flavors that I do now, but you can customize it. Wow, 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 wow. However you want to do so. So for Mr. Sunny, he's going for the standard banana pudding here. And then for Dr. Thea, DT, we're going to go ah, with the strawberry yeah, yeah, cheesecake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Strawberry cheesecake. For my boy here. Yummy, oh. yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, damn. <laughs> it's pretty damn good. <laughs> oh, damn. I was expecting the <laughs> shitty. Oh, <laughs> oh, <yay. laughs> I thought I was going to have to lie. Okay. So you're gonna have to. We're on Instagram, heypuddin underscore LA. Mm -hmm. um, you can make all of your orders there. We have mm -hmm. menus, we have pictures. Uh, my telephone number is there. I do delivery all over Southern California. Oh my God. That's really um, good. So yeah, just hit my <laughs> really line. Good. We'll, yeah, we'll, really good. we'll hook it up delicious. for you. Um, we do parties as well. If you guys are interested in parties, uh, we do a build your own banana pudding bar. So we'll come out and we'll have about 12 different cookies, <clears> however <throat> many fruits you want. We'll have the pudding, toppings, everything, and we'll just build it to order there. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, it's mm, good. Mm, mm. It's good. Oh, but this is a fun week. I know, wasn't it? It was a yeah. great two weeks. It was a great two weeks, yeah. Wow. But, um, <laughs> Man. So, she like this more. Is that hard to have your hair like that still? No. Do you feel it? Mm -mm. I don't. <clears throat> okay, so uh, let's talk about the two week plan here and how, how has this, what has this meant to you? How has it changed your life, sort of? Um, it's changed my life completely in the way you've been doing it all wrong. Everything that we've been taught, everything that we've instilled within ourselves. We're doing it all wrong, and a lot of the things that are ailing us are our own doing. How has this changed you, the program? The program has been an absolute blast, and I will say that it has changed me in bringing me more into focus of my own body. I am very religious in thinking about how I feel, what's ailing me, what's causing this discomfort, what what can I do differently? How is this position? Is it better for me? It just turns your mentals on. Yeah, so you're just more aware. Not yeah, so you're aware. just completely on. Now, how is this two weeks versus different than one week? If you would have left last week versus second if week. If I would have just done one week, 
I would not have received any of the benefits. Um, just because the habits that you have to instill in yourself within that first week, you don't really take it as seriously as you should. Um, and even for me, I was here a week prior to taking my first week and I still wasn't adapting as quickly as I would have liked and it just wasn't sticking with my mind. I definitely say that if you want to see lasting effects and long-term healing without the help of Dr. Thayer besides you every single day for the rest of your life, you probably do want to go ahead and do the two weeks. Yeah. So facial hair, we talked about facial hair in the beginning. Any change in that? I'm, I know, don't necessarily yeah. think there's been any changes with we that. We have no idea. Yeah, it's I, have take no a idea. Time. I have it's no a, idea. You know, it could be a hormonal problem and the mm -hmm. time it takes the body to react a little bit. She hasn't been through a, you know, a long uh, shave period yet since for two weeks. I so. haven't, you know, I'm, so, not, I'm not trying to play. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so we don't know yet. So she's gonna come back later and tell us about that that's mm -hmm. changed. But how about the trap pain? You came in with a severe trap pain oh, and neck man. pain for years. Man, man. It Since at right? It literally feels like butter. And if I do feel any- Like pudding? Yeah, exactly. Well, that. Plug, the plug. plug. Exactly. <laughs> any types of remnants of that pain popping up, you, you have a base to go back to. So you know automatically to get into eight pans, you know automatically to chin up, you know automatically to breathe. Anyways, low back pain. Low back pain is nothing. Knee pain, ankle pain. Didn't you have knee pain and ankle pain before? I did. Yeah. How about tired all the time? I'm not tired. How about uh, right wrist pain or and right index? Yeah, the index finger, I forgot the about that thing. The index finger is still there. Really? Yeah, okay. the index finger is still there. I haven't actually really even okay, thought come about close, that. Let's come closer, come closer. Let's try this right now. So index finger is still there? Okay. Yeah, it's still there. Mm. So we're used to going away, why? Because the nerves that come out of here go to your finger? It might be something actually wrong with this thing. Well, it could be. Yeah, it could be something wrong. But I mean, we do on the we try to take care of the balance of the whole body because when the body's balanced, it has you have better sleep, better mm -hmm. better comprehension, also you have better ability to heal. Good. That was deep. Yeah. I did that mid neck this morning. And that was Alice today. Yeah, man, that was deep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was deep too. Because 50% of the rotation in your neck mm. comes from your atlas. Man. So if you're rotating your neck 180 degrees, 180, 90 degrees every night for six or seven hours, <laughs> oh, you know. I've been doing this all my life. All your life. Thanks for not wearing those baggy clothes, by the way. I know, you can actually see some things. Exactly. Yeah. Go ahead and bend over touch toes, please. Alright. Any pain discomfort you back there? Mm -mm. No pain. Just a little bit of tightness in the hamstrings, but other than that. You can actually stand up. Mm -mm. Back like this. With that, good. Look at the floor, please, with your neck. And with that. Nope, that feels great. And how about um, ceiling, please? No. Okay, and the last one we did the squats, right? Yeah. Let's squat all the way to the ground. Dang. I was able to drop it low. I know, I know, I'm looking good. Yeah. Thanks so much, it's been a lot of fun. I know we're gonna see these people again. Uh, my new favorite couple, um, Spoon One and Spoon Two. Big Spoon. Big Spoon, she's the big spoon. <laughs> I'm the big toe, I love that. I'm the big toe. So this girl's been great. Uh, hope you guys like that, say goodbye. Adios, peeps. <laughs>